Awesome. Hey guys, welcome to another episode with me, Shashank Gurupa. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about NFTs again, which is episode number two. Now, in episode number one, I spoke to you about NFTs. I spoke to you about how to invest in them. I spoke to you about where you can go and invest in them. All of these things I spoke about in episode one. Now, in episode two, I'm going to talk about what are the trends that we are seeing right now uh, from a futuristic perspective. So, I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Now, one by one, I'm going to show you first of all what is happening in the NFT space. Why is everyone talking about the NFT space? Number two, third thing I want to understand is this NFT space um, really a massive thing or are people just taking advantage of the hype situation, right? And we'll understand the true nature of NFT. And fourth, I will show you some NFTs on OpenSea as well. Now, some people are asking, how do we flip NFT? So I'll talk about all of this one by one. First, let's look at what's happening in the crypto market because it's really sad. It's suffering right now. Uh, so, so let's look at the crypto market. Actually, every market is suffering, uh, not just the crypto market, but let's look at everything, right? Now, if you look at crypto, I think Bitcoin's down seven days, 14%. Uh, Ethereum's down to $2,490, almost $2,500. Tether still there. BNB has also gone down by 20%. Literally, everything is at its all-time low. I just picked up some BNB today as well because it's really, really low and the all-time high was around 600 uh, so hoping that one day it'll again go back to 600. But the question is, will NFT flipping do really well? Is NFT flipping actually worth it? We don't know. We'll talk about all of that, right? Now, these are the coins that you look at right now. And if you look at Ethereum, right? Uh, if you want to understand more about Ethereum, you can check it out. There's a blog on CoinSwitch itself that actually talks about the price of Ethereum and how it was. In fact, price of one Ethereum in July was approximately 1,800 to 2,300. And now it's currently trading at 2,400, right? Which is a massive drop from what it actually was. And it had gone up quite significantly and everyone thought it'll keep bullying and keep going up, but it actually didn't go up. Now. Looking at NFTs, first I want to show you guys some NFTs that are in this space and everything is crashing. So by the way, whenever the market crashes, there's an automatic correlation with the NFT market. So whenever the market goes down, NFT market is supposed to go up, right? Why? Because the num price of Ethereum on the NFT tends to start going up because the actual NFT under uh, value is still the same, but Ethereum price goes down and I'll show you what I'm talking about, right? Now, uh, I'm going to show you first, uh, th this is OpenSea where most of the people actually go buy their NFTs and stake their NFTs and I'll show you what do I mean by uh, correlation, right? So if I show you my profile that I have, which I've just put a random uh, profile, right? I have a sneaky vampire and I'll show you what this is. And I had bought this, I think few months ago and I've still held it for a very long period of time. And I'm just going to show it to you, right? I'm not saying go buy it and all that. I want to show you how the activity changes. Now, the sneaky vampire price is at 0 0.89 and if you look at the activity right now last few days ago it was at 0. Point, look at this it was at 0. 0.74 and now it's just shot up quite significantly and it had gone up to almost uh, quite a bit right it keeps going up slowly like this and people are buying up to one ethereum now that is because the price of ethereum itself has gone down because when the price of ethereum was at 4000 this was at 0. 0.7 which correlates to the same value of dollar but Again, what is good, what is bad, we don't know, we have to check it out. Okay, so we need to figure out all of this in today's episode. But first, I want to show you and try to understand and you guys tell me this at the end of this thing, right? Is it a hype or is it just normal? And I'm trying to make you guys understand. So look at some of the things that are happening in the year 2022. Now, you, 2021 NFT had just started, right? It was a baby boomer. Everyone started talking about NFTs. Everyone started talking about the use case of NFTs. All of this happened in 2021, but 2022 is where NFTs are going mainstream. And there are so many projects coming on a day to day basis. But please understand the actual use case of NFT, right? NFT is basically a non fungible token that you can hold as a sign of an art collectible, right? So if I launch my own NFTs tomorrow, for example, you can hold my NFTs as a token or a sign of like an art, right? I have Shashank's art, which is he launched a long time ago. Now, for example, Lamborghini is coming out with its first NFT, which is the most Lamborghini thing ever. So Lamborghini is coming with its NFT and it's going to be auctioned off in Feb. Now I want to ask you this question, right? Does Lamborghini really need to come out and actually launch an NFT, right? Do they actually come need to come out and actually launch NFT? 
I don't think so, right? It's not very, very crucial for Lambo to come and actually uh, give an NFT out. But because the trend is there, why not? Let's just try as much as possible and work it out. That is one. There's another very famous guy called Pablo Picasso, right? He heads to the NFT space because all his artwork, right? His secret artwork that he had not shown, instead of just going into art galleries and putting it there, he wants to come and now display it um, in the form of NFT. So now this is also coming where true artists or homegrown artists are now coming and actually putting their stuff here. Now, apart from artists, okay, artists, I can understand. This guy, I can understand, right? Pablo Picasso coming and putting his art on an NFT space. Got it. Completely get it. Completely understood, right? But this I don't understand. Hindustan Times is launching NFTs pegged on crucial events from India's history, right? Now, I feel NFT is like the new stamp. Right. Imagine at one point, whenever something cool used to happen, there used to be stamps and I was a stamp collector. Right. So I knew all these Queen Elizabeth stamp was there. Queen Elizabeth III, second old stamps, Ambedkar stamp was there, Mahatma Gandhi stamp was there. So many different people stamp was there. Now people are just going into the NFT space and doing anything that they want. Right. So Hindustan time is launching NFTs spec to crucial events from India's history. Now, is there real value to this or is this just like a hype or is this just like a gimmick? I don't know. But if you think that Again, I'm going to do an up rating and down rating. Okay. So Lambo, I would give a down rating. I'm like, okay, they don't actually need it only from a use case perspective. I'm not saying it might work, might not work. Pablo Picasso, definitely up case, right? This is something NFTs should be used for this down case. I don't understand this at all. Now, Walmart is quietly coming into the metaverse space. Now this I understand. Now Walmart coming into metaverse space and it's also coming with their own NFTs. This I can understand because Walmart is a retailer. So putting the entire retail store online into the metaverse, I completely get it because I can actually go touch it and say, you know what? Hey, I want this parcel to my house and that will actually happen. You should actually watch this uh, movie called Ready Player One. It's by I think Steven Spielberg. Uh, definitely watch it because then you'll understand the use case of collectibles and the world of VR, which is inevitable. It has to happen, right? Now, Walmart, again, use case, I understand, completely understand. And their uh, Walmart said to offer users a virtual currency as well as NFT. Okay, so this is great. Very, very good. Okay, but Johnny Depp is selling NFTs of his intimate paintings of friends and heroes. Now, Johnny Depp, who is an actor, uh, looks like a uh, painter as well. Uh, very similar to Sanman Khan. Uh, because he also paints really well. So the, now Johnny Depp is basically painting something and he's coming out with his own NFT. Now, is this actually required? Johnny Depp coming out with his own NFT? Maybe because a lot of creators are coming out with their own NFT. So if there is demand, people might buy. So I'm going to keep this at neutral. Now, one more <laughs> very weird use case of NFT. And I'm, I'm seeing so many different use cases. And this is just on the internet, guys. Uh, I'm trying to make you understand the use case of NFT because don't just look at how much I can flip NFT. How can I make money? First, understand how, what is NFT and what is the actual use case. Then you'll understand how to flip NFTs. Now, Gary Vee is planning to open world's first NFT restaurant in New York. Now, the members of Fish Fly Fish Club will require members to pay for their access with crypto. So basically, you have to buy this NFT and then go eat in this restaurant. Okay, so you basically come and buy this NFT and then go eat in this restaurant. Now, Flyfish Club released 1,151 tokens on Jan 7th, um, which was selling for approximately 2.5 Ethereum. Now, my question to you is, if you have to come and go to this restaurant, it's an NFT only restaurant, right? So you have to launch the NFT, I have to go buy this NFT, then I have to go to this restaurant, pay money and then pay money there also. So it's uh, quite, quite interesting. Uh, but now look at this. If nobody buys that NFT, okay, starting my NFT hype is there. Amazing. Okay, great stuff. But what if my question is, what if nobody buys this NFT tomorrow? What if it's boring, right? Then will anyone go to this restaurant? And in New York City, it's not cheap to keep this restaurant. So again, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to understand the actual use case. I mean, restaurant is great. Getting it with a private access also, I understand. But from a long-term perspective, I'm a little confused. Like actually a little more confused than the normal confused. So again, this is something that I saw. Okay, so I'll keep this as medium because this is something nobody has done in the space. So either it'll work or it'll completely not work. Okay, both. Maybe. What about this? Ycom18 is planning to launch their own NFT marketplace and they're going to name it Fully Faltu. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is a scam uh, or if this is some parody or they're trying to joke about something, but this is actual news uh, where they're planning to come with an NFT marketplace and they're calling it Fully Faltu. 
Now, why would you want to call your NFT marketplace where already itna scam hota hai, already itna rug pull hota hai? Why would you want to call this fully faltu? Right? As it's like if I want to go buy an NFT tomorrow, and I'll tell my parents, say, listen, I want to buy this. Apka card de do. I want to buy this NFT, and they'll be like, kya? Kaun sa website hai? Ye fully faltu website hai. And I don't get it. So why do you <laughs> want to uh, do that now? Is this only because of trend, or is this actually a use case that Ycom eighteen is going to use? I don't know. I feel this is again a trend, right? Because they heard this thing called Web three revolution, right? And they heard this thing called NFT, and they said, "What can we do with the Web three revolution and NFT?" Chalo, let's launch a marketplace called Fully Faltu. Now, no, a lot of people are saying justified name, guys. It's not a justified name. Sorry, I wouldn't call it a justified name because. NFT ka actual use case is there. It is art form. It is a form of art, right? The actual use case is there. A lot of people are holding it as a form of art. But what okay, happens, na? Like when you say that this is good, you know how in exams we we know an answer, but sometimes you don't know the answer. So what do you do? Why cheese same statement you write five six different angles, which doesn't make sense at all. So a lot of people who really know the scholar is actually doing the right way of NFT, which is art form. Then after that, the other people, ha huh, NFT, ha huh, ha, huh, I put them here. Go and uh, NFT is a non fungible token, and it is good because it can be used in multiple different industries. And they're just copy pasting it, right? So this is how in exams we do it, jumping in without knowledge, and we try to just fill the page of the paper. It feels like that. So some use cases definitely there, some use cases not there at all, right? Now, I want to ask you guys this question. How many of you have heard this very famous song uh, that came out in Bollywood a few few months ago, and I think Bachcha also came and endorsed it. Do you guys remember this song called "Bachpan Ka Pyaar"? Na 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 na. Jaane mera jaane man. You remember that song? There was a small kid who was singing this "Jaane mera jaane man, Bachpan Ka Pyaar." Now, Bachpan Ka Pyaar boy Sadeb did her ten to launch his own NFT collection. So, Bachpan Ka Pyaar Superstar, okay, is going to launch his own NFT collection, and I don't get this, right? <laughs> I mean, मतलब क्या? It was NFT's use case was so amazing. It was superb. But अभी ऐसा चल रहा है कि कल मेरा ऑटो वाला भी बोलेगा अच्छा सर आप मेरा NFT खरीदोगे क्या? It becomes like that. And looking, staying in Bangalore, I think anything is possible. I think anything is possible in Bangalore that कल वो बोलेगा if you want to ride my auto rickshaw, you have to buy my NFT. Right, so it's very weird. Jor Parivar NFT is different. Okay, and I'll come to Jor Parivar if you want, but that is different. Why? Because Digital Pratik is not just selling himself like this guy, right? Digital Pratik is saying, okay, there are fifteen different use cases for this. So I will give you sessions. I will give you Jor Parivar con. Uh, the what is that? Uh, something happens, right? His co convention center, right? He does all these different events. So that makes sense because I'm giving an actual use case for it. There's bronze gold. There's different stuff. But this. मतलब ये क्या देगा आपको क्या नॉलेज देने वाला है राइट माय क्वेश्चन इज आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू बी रूड टू एनी वन और एनी थिंग आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मेक यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड वेरी इन सिंपल टर्म्स व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल यूज केस बिकॉज इफ यू आर बाइंग अ यूज केस टुमारो इफ यू आर बाइंग एनएफटीज टुमारो यू कैन इदर बाय विद योर आईज क्लोज्ड एंड देन से ओ माय गॉड आई बॉट दिस आई फ्लिप्ड इट फॉर 0.8 एथ और 1 एथ आई डबल्ड माय मनी बट दैट इज नॉट लॉन्ग टर्म यू विल लूज योर मनी इन द लॉन्ग टर्म If you want to really think about long term, just find NFT projects that have actual use case and are actually doing really well, right? Now, look at some other interesting things that are happening, and this is something to watch out for. Twitter came out recently and said NFT profile picture understood, right? Reddit is coming out with the NFT as well for profile picture similar to Twitter. See the mainstream adoption. Something that was last year, which was uh, NFT, which just came out last year. One year later, Reddit, a big company like Reddit, a big company like Twitter. And wait, not just big company like Reddit and Twitter. A big company like YouTube are all now coming into the NFT game. Okay. Now I don't know whether this NFT game is going to survive, whether this NFT game is going to last, or whether it's just going to lose track. The way I'm saying it's just losing track. When I did the NFT video last last year, I think I did the video a few months ago. It actually got two la two lakh views, and at that point, nothing like this was going on. Right. So it was a pure play use case on OpenSea, and I was buying NFTs at that point. Now I feel, what has the highest Discord, right? Which NFT project has the highest Discord? Leave that. Which NFT project has the highest hype? Okay, so कुछ भी खरीदो, right? Now ideally it is a piece of art that you are buying, and I understand you want to build a piece of art with me. Like if I am Shishan Gurupan and I am giving you my NFT, it's not just about me. मेरा शकल देख के आप क्या करोगे, right? 
nothing but if i say if you buy my nft i will put you into this private nft club that i will personally meet every year in bangalore or twice every year in bangalore and only people who have this nft can come and do it and then i will launch a separate small case for you guys for the nft i will help you do this i will help you do that why because you're buying my nft and you're paying me money for it right you're paying me money for it so i'm giving you use case and then if too many people are buying this nft of mine for the use case and what happens automatically the price of nft goes up and if the price of nft goes up you already get a lot of uh, benefits from the nft but apart from that you get money on the price appreciation as well that's why i say understand use case if you don't understand use case and you simply go buy nft and nobody's buying it what's the point use case is the most important okay now that is one i mean i'm mind blown with the and i don't even want to go deep into this right because there are so many actors who have bought nfts and all that some are understandable some are not youtube going into nft space agreed makes sense because a lot of creators are doing it but uh, yeah i don't understand i mean his i would really like this guy's dp which is i mean a damn cool instagram profile picture right but not i'm not going to buy this nft i mean maybe you want to do it which is completely fine uh but i'm not going to buy it right so it's again it's up to you guys whatever you guys want to do but i'm showing you what it is now coming back to open sea right now open sea is one platform that does nft buying and selling binance also has started their own nft buying and selling as well so you can see all of this i think wazirx has also come out with their own buying and selling of nft so a lot of people are now coming out of the nft buying and selling right now if i go here and click on rankings so this rankings when you see it accumulates the rankings with respect to who's buying what now if you know lot of people are buying crypto punks now crypto punks has become like this cult following okay cult following matlab what lot of people are buying crypto punks because they want to show off with their friends and who are buying it's not affordable for everyone by the way let me show you how how expensive it is to buy one crypto punk one crypto punk is approximately 1 and 1/2 crores only right 1 and 1/2 2 crores so this is basically a status symbol 89 ethereum 90 ethereum 100 ethereum to buy one crypto punk and by the way it's not even on for sale right very few uh, transactions happening but this is how a crypto punk is basically sold so crypto punks are and what is this that this has become a status symbol that is actually uh, i mean i can't even say art beautiful hai uh, it's very normal art but people are buying it and basically they've been featured in these places right so that's why it's become very famous but you need to understand the true use case now i'll show you digital pratik's thing right let me just show you again not endorsing anything here guys i'm just showing you the use case of what he's done because lot of creators are just coming out and just putting their face and saying mera nft le lo bhai uh, but that's not how it works you need to show a use case so if you see these three different things he has right basically he's giving a lot of things so gold obviously you get a 90 minute dinner so there are excess stuff apart from just buying this you get workshops you get trainings you get giveaways you get a lot more even if you buy the bronze right same with silver and with gold you get up, i mean a lot 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 more So a lot of these things are happening okay so if you're actually planning to buy an nft you need to have an actual use case so now coming to the point of hype or not some projects are hyped some projects are not hyped some projects are actually true in the use case now let me show you something i wanted to show you guys something on binance okay now here there is some weird things happening also okay in binance if i go to M nft marketplace so look at this there are a lot of new new projects coming out on nft literally there are hundreds of projects coming out on nft on literally with respect to nfts right and lot of people are copying because abhi trending kya ho raha hai in the nft space punks are trending apes are trending so everyone's trying to do a different version of apes and try to sell the same thing right and thousand dollars per bicker i one ape basically this is how it is now gaming nfts they actually have use case metaverse nfts they have use case as well so a lot of these if you have a use case so metaverse plus nft gives you real use case now there's one more thing right i wanted to show you guys was it here ideally look for something that is in the metaverse or in the gaming space that will actually give you a use case because in the nft world no lot of things are happening even uh, with respect to finance right i was looking at a uh, token launch even tokens a lot of weird tokens are being launched right and if uh, it's not here so at one point i remember there was fan tokens for barcelona there was fan tokens for different companies uh, football clubs basically right so all of these things are happening and don't get uh, what do you call it don't get flown away by people saying you know what i bought this nft they'll put a photo on instagram saying i bought this nft i sold it at this much 0.6 eth se leke 2.5 eth tak bech diya it looks very attractive 
बट दैट इज नॉट हाउ इट वर्क दैट इज बेसिकली यू डू ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग नो इतना ही है तो डू ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग बट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट सी यूज केस ऑफ एन एफ टी आई वुड से बाई एन एन एफ टी दैट एक्चुअली हैज यूज केस इन द मेटावर्स दैट विल एक्चुअली ब्लो योर माइंड आउट एंड ऑल इन द गेमिंग स्पेस येस बिकॉज इन गेमिंग यू नीड कलेक्टेबल सो इफ फोर्ट नाइट कम्स आउट एन एफ टी टूमोरो और सी एस कम्स आउट एन एफ टी टूमोरो then i get the use case because in fortnite anyway i'm buying the skin in uh, cs anyway i'm buying the skin right or this guns uh, new skin so it makes sense in the gaming world a lot but anything else i don't know i don't see an actual use case to be honest but art definitely gaming yes nft yes walmart definitely yes because walmart is doing exactly what i said metaverse plus nft so that helps a lot but stuff like this I don't get it, right? This I don't get. This I don't get. Rest I get. So basically, this was the entire Lakshmi Chit Fund NFT. No man, not that. Okay, coming back to the main point. So guys, this was a quick small video about NFT episode number two. So I hope you understood the real use case of NFT. I was showing this NFT ex for you with examples, right? So that you, when you're buying NFTs tomorrow, you're buying it from different places. Please be aware of how to buy. And if you have not seen the episode one, you should definitely go check episode one. So you'll get an idea of which tools to use, where to do it. There's rarity tools. Uh, basically, you have to put money into your MetaMask and then start buying it with Web three. Lot of things from that perspective, right? So do that. I. It is not useless. Lot of people just say, oh, uh, you know, NFT is just a JPEG. NFT is just bad. It is not bad. There is an actual use case. It is going to be big, but. if everyone's doing it without understanding it was like blockchain technology when it came out right everyone's like blockchain 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 are samjho what is blockchain there is a use case for it so don't feel like that right do you feel many giveaways on twitter are scam yeah because i tell you what they'll do a giveaway on twitter all of you guys will comment and retweet and you will tag me also i don't know why, why idiots tag me also in this thing right and then they give it to one of their friends anyway but that because of that a lot of people in the world understand that oh there's this new nft that's coming board sheep that is board sheep club right then everyone will try to buy that board sheep club they make money you also look like an idiot and then they rug pull and they run away and everything is gone to nothing you don't have anything one more very interesting thing i want to show you guys have you heard of this company called fan craze again um, not a promotion not anything i was just looking at it because it came out 4 hours ago so fan craze and icc okay i just came to i just saw this on my feed right fan craze and icc are planning to launch cricket nfts called icc cryptos and fan craze has partnered with cricketers such as rohit sharma bumrah andre russell dhawan jonty rhodes q itna paisa hai q why nfts right but they are coming out with their icc icc is coming out with nfts about the cricketers and in india how does it work cricketer matlab crazy and if you look at who's the founder of this company right the founder of this company ek article mein tha which was um i think it's a tech crunch article yeah let me just show you this right i i will be mind blown um come on come on where is it where is it yeah so uh, they partnered with several cricketers okay that is insane i'm just trying to find the founders because i saw the founders quite recently Oh, here it is. Okay, so uh, the founder is um, Fancraft founder and chief is Anshuman Bamri. So basically, I'll tell you who the founders are. Right, they have two founders or three founders, and the founders are actually um, uh, who's this? One of the founder is an operating officer of IPL itself. So he was the operating officer of IPL number one, and the other founder was the head of Reliance Sports. Okay, so obviously, and they raised a massive amount of money in the in the just the seed round. So a lot of these weird things are happening in this space. But you be aware. Please don't be stupid. Be smart, and only invest in projects that you feel have an actual use case. I'm trying to save your money. That's it, right? Everything else is going down. The whole market is red. Dunya red pe chal raha bhi. Red is the new green right now. so just be careful i know it is a bad time i know everything's looking bad your portfolio is looking bad everything's going down lower circuit lower circuit bad calm down take a deep breath do yoga relax life is always good if you wait for a long period of time everything today if you want the more often than not you'll actually lose money so don't try to do that okay great uh okay guys thank you this is me shashank gurba signing off i hope you guys had a great episode today The giveaway is tomorrow, not today, guys. Yesterday was the last day. Tomorrow is the giveaway, so I will be coming tomorrow. I think approximately at the same time, and I'll be announcing the giveaway. Some guys have done some really kick-ass stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you that tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to meet you guys. Giveaway tomorrow, not during market hours. I'm doing it after market hours, 
why should I do it in market hours? I'm going to do it ma after market hours because then I have to take your number. Uh, I have to call you. I have to give you these gifts. I have to order those great things for you from Amazon. A lot of things, right? Awesome. Chalo. This is me, Shashank Gurupa, signing off. Take care. See you guys. Bye-bye.